Ever wondered how actors continue to earn money long after their shows have ended? Well, it's all thanks to royalties or residuals. These payments are made when a TV show or movie airs as reruns, or if it's sold for video or DVD sales, or to a syndication such as a streaming service or cable network. If you're curious about how much your favorite actors make from royalties each year, you're in luck. Here's a list of the residual earnings of actors from popular shows. Stay tuned to find out who makes the most. Carol Burnett has earned her title as one of the funniest women in the world. With a career spanning over six decades, she is best known for her groundbreaking comedy sketch show, The Carol Burnett Show. The show was a staple of 1970s television, and it's still watched today, 40 years after its series finale. Burnett's comedic talent and acting skills have been recognized with numerous awards, including a Golden Globe Award named in her honor. This award recognizes her outstanding contributions to television and her impact on the entertainment industry. Despite her many accomplishments, Burnett's contract did not include residuals from reruns and streaming services. This means that she does not earn any money from the ongoing sales of her show on DVD or from its streaming on various platforms. It's a common issue faced by many actors and actresses who often do not have control over the financial benefits of their work. Interestingly, Burnett only earns one cent for each DVD sold of her show. It's a stark reminder of the challenges faced by many artists in the entertainment industry who often do not receive fair compensation for their work. Burnett's contributions to comedy and television continue to be celebrated and her legacy lives on through her many fans and the countless performers she has inspired. Her impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable and her work continues to resonate with audiences today. Despite the financial challenges she has faced, Burnett remains a beloved figure in the world of comedy and a true icon of American television. George Clooney's career as an actor was not always a smooth ride to success. Before his big break, he had a few minor roles in television shows and movies. However, it was his role as Dr. Doug Ross in the hit 90s medical drama ER that truly catapulted him to stardom. As the charming pediatrician, George Clooney stole the hearts of women everywhere with his portrayal of Dr. Ross. He played the character for five of the show's 15 seasons, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. But it wasn't just his good looks and charisma that made George Clooney a household name. His talent and dedication to his craft earned him numerous accolades, including several Emmy nominations and a Golden Globe Award. After leaving her, George Clooney went on to become one of the world's highest paid actors, starring in a string of successful films such as Ocean's Eleven, Syriana, and The Descendants. Despite his busy schedule and high-profile career, George Clooney has never forgotten his roots. In fact, he still makes a fortune from his work on Earth, earning an estimated $13 million a year in residuals. It's a testament to the enduring popularity of the show and the impact that George Clooney's portrayal of Dr. Doug Ross had on audiences around the world. Even over a decade after leaving the show, George Clooney's legacy as one of Earth's most beloved characters continues to resonate with fans everywhere. Ted Danson is best known for his role as Sam Malone in the 1980s comedy Cheers. Sam was a former pitcher for the Boston Red Sox, who retired from the game due to troubles with alcohol. After retirement, he opened a bar in Boston called Cheers, where he became famous for his sexual promiscuity and his will-they-won't-they they relationships with Diane Chambers and Rebecca Howe. During the final season of Cheers, Ted Danson made a staggering $450,000 per episode. However, despite the success of the show and the popularity of his character, Danson grew tired of playing Sam Malone. He decided to move on, but the decision didn't hurt him financially. Danson continued acting after leaving Cheers, and he still makes $5 million in residuals for playing Sam Malone, which is quite impressive since he doesn't have to do anything to make those millions. Ted Danson's portrayal of Sam Malone in Cheers is one of the most iconic roles in television history. His character was a charming, quick-witted, and sometimes troubled man who captured the hearts of audiences for over a decade. While Danson may have grown tired of playing Sam, his legacy as the beloved bartender of Cheers will live on for generations to come. Sam Malone's relationships with Diane Chambers and Rebecca Howe were a significant part of the show's appeal. The will-they-won't-they they dynamic between Sam and Diane, played by Shelley Lung, was a central theme in the early seasons of Cheers. 
Later, when Long left the show, Anson's character had a similar dynamic with Rebecca O, played by Kirstie Alley. These relationships added depth and complexity to Danson's character, making him even more endearing to fans. Ted Danson's performance in Cheers was a testament to his acting prowess. He was able to portray a multifaceted character who was both charming and flawed. Sam Malone was a man struggling with addiction, trying to find his place in the world, and looking for love. Danson's ability to capture these complexities and make them relatable to audiences is what made Cheers such a beloved show. In conclusion, Ted Danson's portrayal of Sam Malone in Cheers is one of the most iconic roles in television history. Danson's performance was a testament to his acting abilities and his character's relationships with Diane Chambers and Rebecca Howe added depth and complexity to the show. While Danson may have grown tired of playing Sam, his legacy as the beloved bartender of Cheers will live on for generations to come. And let's not forget, Danson still makes $5 million in residuals for playing Sam, which is a pretty good deal for doing nothing at all. Kelsey Grammer is an accomplished actor, best known for his record-breaking role as Dr. Frazier Crane on the hit TV show Cheers, and its spin-off, Frazier. Grammer began playing the character of Dr. Crane, a psychiatrist, in 1984 on Cheers, and continued to portray him until the show's end in 24. Cheers was a popular sitcom that aired for over a decade, and Dr. Frazier Crane quickly became a fan favorite. The character was so well-loved that when Cheers ended, a spin-off show was created around him. Frazier follows the character of Dr. Crane, his family, and his job as a radio psychiatrist on talk radio as he tries to find the love of his life. Kelsey Grammer's portrayal of Dr. Frazier Crane earned him a staggering $1.6 million per episode from Cheers and Frazier. Even today, Grammer continues to reap the rewards of his successful role, earning $13 million in residuals. If the rumored Frazier reboot is picked up, Grammer could potentially earn even more in residuals. In conclusion, Kelsey Grammer's role as Dr. Frazier Crane is one that has left a lasting impact on the television landscape. His portrayal of the beloved character has earned him both critical acclaim and financial success, making him one of the most successful actors in television history. Jerry Seinfeld is a comedic genius known for his impeccable timing and ability to make any audience laugh. His humor was the driving force behind the creation of the groundbreaking television show Seinfeld, which aired from 1989 to 1998. The show, often referred to as a show about nothing, became one of the most popular and critically acclaimed series of all time. Seinfeld follows the fictionalized version of Seinfeld himself, along with his group of friends, as they navigate through the trivialities and absurdities of everyday life. The show's unique blend of relatable situations, witty banter, and memorable catchphrases has made it a cultural phenomenon that continues to resonate with audiences today. Despite the show's ending over two decades ago, its popularity has transcended generations thanks to reruns and its availability on streaming platforms like Hulu. In fact, Seinfeld earns an estimated $110 million a year in royalties from the show's continued success, simply by signing checks. The enduring appeal of Seinfeld is a testament to Seinfeld's comedic talent and the show's timeless humor. Even as new shows and comedians emerge, Seinfeld remains a classic that continues to entertain and delight audiences of all ages. David Hyde Pierce is no stranger to the world of acting, with a career spanning many movies and TV shows. Among these are The Good Wife and A Bug's Life, where Eddie, his character, earns royalties. However, None of these compare to the royalties he receives from his role in the hit TV comedy Frasier. In Frasier, David Hyde Pierce played Niles Crane, Frasier's Sherry Swilling psychiatrist brother. He landed the role when the show's executives saw his headshot because they thought he looked like Kelsey Grammer when he was young. The show ended in 2004, but David has earned over $40 million in residuals since then. The success of Frasier can be attributed to its clever writing, memorable characters, and the undeniable chemistry between its cast members. David Hyde Pierce's portrayal of Niles Crane was a significant part of the show's appeal. Niles was a snobbish, uptight character who was always in the shadow of his older brother, Frazier. Despite this, Niles was a fan favorite, and David Hyde Pierce's nuanced performance made the character endearing and relatable. David Hyde Pierce's portrayal of Niles Crane was so iconic that it earned him several Emmy Awards for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series. 
His performance resonated with audiences, and his character became an indelible part of TV history. In conclusion, David Hyde Pierce's role in Frasier has earned him significant financial success and critical acclaim. His portrayal of Niles Crane was a crucial part of the show's success, and it remains a testament to his talent and versatility as an actor. Alan Alda is most well known for his role as Captain Benjamin Hawkeye Pierce in the groundbreaking comedy drama MASH. The show, which takes place on an army base during the Korean War, was unique in its ability to find humor in a, such a horrific subject. The characters on the show were doctors and surgeons, and Alda's portrayal of Hawkeye evolved dramatically throughout the show's 11 seasons. Initially introduced as a womanizing, rule-breaking army surgeon, Hawkeye underwent significant character development, becoming a kind and respectable man by the show's finale. The producers of MASH gave Alda the freedom to merge his own morals and ideals into Hawkeye, making the portrayal of the character more genuine. Alda's portrayal of Hawkeye resonated with audiences, and his work on the show earned him numerous accolades, including five Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. The show's success also brought financial rewards, with Alda earning millions of dollars a year in royalties and reruns. MASH can still be seen on TV Land, AMP, and many other channels. For those who have never seen MASH, it's worth checking out. The show's unique blend of humor and drama, combined with its thoughtful exploration of war and its effects on those who fight, make it a captivating and enduring piece of television history. Alda's portrayal of Hawkeye is a testament to his versatility as an actor and his ability to bring depth and nuance to a complex character. Betty White, an iconic actress, leaves behind an 80-year career, the longest in television history. She became a household name as the sweet and naive Rose Nyland in the hit 80s sitcom, The Golden Girls. Even today, the show's humor remains timeless, appealing to new audiences in syndication. During her lifetime, Betty White amassed a fortune in royalties from The Golden Girls, earning around $8 million a year since the show's end in 1992. Remarkably, this income stream continues, and the terms of her will determine the future distribution of these royalties. Although The Golden Girls was a significant milestone in Betty White's career, her work spanned decades, encompassing film, television, and even video games. Her longevity and contributions to the entertainment industry are truly unparalleled. As the longest living cast member of The Golden Girls, Betty White continued to work until her death in 2021. Her enduring charm and comedic talent ensured that she remained a beloved figure in the industry, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. The legacy of Betty White extends beyond her impressive body of work. She was a passionate advocate for animals and dedicated much of her time and resources to various animal welfare organizations. Her kindness and dedication to improving the lives of animals will also remain a lasting part of her legacy. In the end, Betty White's contributions to the entertainment industry and her dedication to animal welfare have cemented her place as an iconic figure. Her work and her passion will continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come. David Schwimmer, best known for his role as Ross Jeller in the hit television show Friends, was a leading cast member of this beloved series. Ross, who is Monica's brother, had a will-they-won't-they relationship with Rachel throughout the show's run. Fans were delighted when Ross and Rachel ended up together in the series finale. One interesting fact about the Friends cast is that the six main actors, including Schwimmer, agreed to be paid the same amount for each episode to prevent any off-screen financial problems. This means that Schwimmer's contract is similar to that of his co-star Lisa Kudrow, who played Phoebe Buffet. Schwimmer's success as Ross Jeller has earned him significant financial rewards. He receives 2% of the $1 billion a year that the show makes in syndication, which amounts to $20 million in royalties each year. This is the same amount earned by Lisa Kudrow and the rest of the lead cast members. Despite his fame and fortune, Schwimmer remains humble and dedicated to his craft. He has continued to act in various projects since Friends ended and has also turned to directing and producing. His contributions to the world of entertainment have left a lasting impact and he is cherished by fans around the world. Schwimmer's portrayal of Ross Jeller has resonated with audiences for years, and his character remains a beloved part of television history. His success on Friends has not only brought him financial stability, but also a place in the annals of television history. 
It is clear that Schwimmer's talent and dedication have left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry.